Hi, I'm Dylan from The Paper Pilots, and thanks to the guys at Clever Patch, today we're going to learn a little bit about accuracy paper planes. I'm going to teach you the circling quiet. So make sure you follow along with the instructions that you've been given, and also the step-by-step -step guide, as well as fold along with me. To start off, what we're going to do is fold our plane in half lengthways. Pretty standard paper plane fold, but it's going to set up the bones of your paper plane. It's going to start to get that crease running down the middle of your page that you can use as a reference. Now the next step, pretty standard paper plane fold again. Fold your corner in, making a nice triangle with one side of that triangle running up and down the middle of your plane. Now you can do both sides, making sure that they're nice and neat, nice and symmetrical. And then what you end up with is what we like to call the house shape. Got a nice roof there. It also gives you these two edges, these slanty roof edges. Now what we're gonna do for our next step is to grab that edge and fold it in to the center of your plane, making sure that you're nice and neat. Starting to make it nice and pointy, but also adding a lot of weight into the front of our plane, which is gonna to help to carry it forwards. Next step is to obviously do the same on the other side. And then make sure that all of your creases are pushed down nice and neatly. You'll start to see this edge here bubbling up because the paper's trying to escape from being folded. Now once we're at this point here, we're ready to start finishing off our plane. Getting the point, which we like to call the danger zone, and folding it up to this edge here where these two lines intersect, where these two edges meet. So we're going to do that, push down our creases again to make them nice and neat, and then we're ready to fold our plane in half. But if you have a look, it looks a little bit like a penguin, we like to think anyway. And folding your plane in half, we want to make sure that that beak shape is on the inside. So if you have a look at my plane now, there's a nice smooth outside to our plane and all of those folds are on the inside, that little penguin beak there. The next step is to fold your wings, but very important to get this right. Now you'll have a guide and step-by-step -step instructions to see where to fold this wing, but I'm gonna fold it here to show you how I do it at the right angle. So you're folding one wing over, by putting your thumbs here and your index finger on either side, pushing down, and then you're ready to inspect your wing. Having a look at your plane, you'll notice that the crease starts about halfway up the nose and angles up towards the back of the plane. It's probably about a third of the back of the plane there, a little bit, little bit uh, less, but what that'll do is help the plane to have the wings angled into the wind at the right angle. Now, if you buy one wing, you get the one second wing free. So we're gonna fold that in half to match up with the other wing there like a template. So nice and neat there. Fold that wing out and then you've got a pretty good looking plane. But what we want to do is add some winglets to this plane as well to help it to fly straight but also to help cushion a bit of air underneath the back of the plane so it stays in the air for a while. So what you're going to do here is looking at this line as a reference we're going to fold about two centimeters inwards for our winglet. So that's nice and in line with the middle of the plane. Flip it around and do the same on the other side. So circling Clive's pretty good because when you give him a throw, these winglets will help him to fly nice and straight. He'll be a nice accuracy paper plane. And the paper that I've used today is cover paper, so it's a little bit thicker than normal paper, which will help to give it more direction and more force when you throw it forwards. So that is the circling Clive. So once you've got that, we're ready to fly. Now this plane will be super accurate, as long as you make a few adjustments when you finish the molding. 